Hey, there's just a few more things we need to go over. When you come into your dashboard, there's something new in this version of WordPress, you can actually edit what's on here. In the older versions of WordPress, this was all fixed content, but you can actually take this stuff and change it. What you can do is you can click on Edit, and then you can change the RSS feed here and just put an RSS feed. For instance, if you had another blog with an RSS feed, you could put it here and bring in your own content. Same with all the rest of these. You can change all of these as well. Just by clicking the edit button. And this is the same thing again. And then you can edit this as well. And you can put another feed in here. So that's how you can customize the dashboard a little bit. Now, the other thing, if we go into Manage, and then we go into Media Library, this is where we can manage the media that's been uploaded to our sites. Now, if we want to use it somewhere else, over here you'll see a permalink. And this is actually the location of the file on your server. So if you want to grab the link and use it somewhere else, you can get it from this permalink here. And one thing we didn't go over was links. If we click on links, we can add links to our blog pointing somewhere else. So if we give this link a name, say cell phone accessories, and we give it a web address here, like that, you can give it a description here, and when somebody hovers over, they'll see that. Down here, we have our link categories that we set up earlier. So we can click that. And then target is where it's going to show up. If we click underscore blank, it'll open in a new page. This is link relationship is for your own use. And you can just put this here so that it reminds you where it came from. Now let's save this. Now if we go and view our site, and here's our link here, cell phone accessories, so, so showing under our link name here. And then we should go over comments. If you have any comments that need moderation, they're going to appear in here and you can just check them and approve them or mark them as spam or delete them, whatever you want to do. And the last thing, let's just look at user management. If we go into users over here, when somebody registers for your blog, you'll see their username under here and you can edit them and delete them from this page. You can also add users to your blog right in here and give them a role. If you don't have your registration page turned on, you can add them in here. And if you do have it turned on, they can register themselves, but you can still register them yourself if you want. Well, that concludes the video series on setting up WordPress 2.5.